Welcome to these additional episodes of Your Pregnancy Week by Week. We're going to provide information about things you may want to know about before baby's birth and in the weeks and months after baby arrives. Dr. Glade Curtis and I hope these discussions will help you and your partner settle into your new roles as parents. The information in these episodes is a general informative guide. None of the information we provide is intended to replace countermand or conflict with the advice given to you by your own doctors. Always follow his or her advice. Use the information you learn here as a starting place in your dialogue to help you put your life with baby and after pregnancy concerns, questions, or interests into words. Each episode will cover one topic. Our discussions are intended to help guide you through the many new experiences awaiting you. So let's get started on this discussion. We're going to talk about bathing your baby. When baby's umbilical cord falls off, it's time for her first real bath. You may be feeling a little apprehensive about it. I know how scary it is to hold a slippery little body. With practice, you'll soon be a pro and it may become a favorite time for you and baby. You may hear conflicting advice about how often to bathe baby. Baby probably doesn't need a bath every day. Some experts suggest two or three times a week is enough. Others say a daily bath helps keep sensitive skin from drying out. Some suggest once a week. Talk to your pediatrician if you have questions. Gather together everything you'll need for your bath. Once you put baby in the water, you can't be distracted even for a second. Keep towels, baby shampoo, soap, and a washcloth close at hand. To help keep baby from slipping, put a large terry towel, a foam insert, or a plastic holder in the tub. Fill the tub with a few inches of warm water, but be sure it's not too hot. Undress baby. Slip your left hand under her shoulder. Place your thumb over her left shoulder and your fingers under her left armpit. Support her bottom with your right hand. Lower her into the water, keeping hold of her. Begin by washing her face and work down her little body. Be careful to keep soap out of baby's eyes. Clean the genital area and other areas with mild soap. Keep wiping warm water over baby's body as you wash her to keep her warm. Once her body is washed, it's time to shampoo. You only need to do this once or twice a week, not every time you bathe her. Wash her hair with a small amount of diluted baby shampoo to make rinsing it out easier. Use a small plastic cup or your cupped hand to rinse her head. Tilt baby back a bit, then pour water from the forehead back to avoid getting it on her face or in her eyes. As soon as you finish, lift her out and wrap her in a towel. Pat her body and head with a towel to dry her. Patting dry is gentler on her skin than rubbing it. Follow with a moisturizer if her skin is dry or if you live in a very dry climate. As for powder, not every baby needs it. If yours does, be sure it's cornstarch based. Diaper and dress her quickly to avoid a chill. Your baby's ears will produce earwax just as yours do. This is normal. You don't need to do much about it. It usually falls out on its own. You can clean the outer opening of the ear with a washcloth during a bath, but don't try to clean inside the ear. If your baby boy is circumcised, avoid full body bathing until the second day after the procedure. Give him a sponge bath during the first 48 hours. After the second day, you can bathe baby in a tub of warm water. A warm bath will help healing and provide comfort. Clean baby's bottom as you normally would. Squeeze water from a wet cloth over his penis. Pat it dry. Apply petroleum jelly to the penis after bathing until the circumcision has healed. If your son is not circumcised, care for his penis is different. First, do not force the foreskin back. This can cause bleeding and lead to skin adhesions. Clean only what you can see. Wash his body and penis with non-irritating soap and water. Once you bathe baby a few times, you'll get the hang of it and be able to relax a bit. Enjoy the experience. 
but never leave baby in the tub for even a second. Always be vigilant when your little one is in any kind of water. If you want to find out more about this podcast, visit our website, yourpregnancyweekbyweek.com. If you're looking for something specific, check out the podcast topics list. Follow us on social media for updates, new podcast episodes, and important information. Visit Your Pregnancy Week by Week, all one word, on Facebook and Instagram. If you'd like to read about baby, check out our book, Your Baby's First Year Week by Week. We cover many subjects dealing with baby in a weekly format, and each week is a fairly quick read. 